Hi. Welcome to Health Secrets of the Bible. I'm Stellar Hope, and that's what this program is all about, is we have eternal hope through Jesus. Years ago, when, uh, when I knew Reverend Stillwell, before I went to heaven, he told me that the cross is central to all we do. So the cross is very important because Christ was crucified on the cross. And I always like to wear a cross because it's a sign of the death, burial, and resurrection of the Savior of the world, the Messiah. So one of the things I wanted to do for you is during this uh, corona crisis, the coronavirus crisis, actually the communist Chinese coronavirus <laughs> crisis, I wanted to read uh, Psalm 91 to you every day, every night, as much as possible. So here we are. You know, this is actually a divine appointment. It's not a coincidence or, um, uh, you know, a happenstance that you and I are together this evening. Jesus wants you to know he loves you. You're very important to God. You're not alone in life. Jesus loves you, and he wants you to always know him and love him and be with him forever in heaven some great day. Okay, so here's Psalm 91. This is written by King David. It was a long, long time ago, maybe a couple thousand, 2,500 years, maybe 3,000 years ago. So let's go. Let's read it here. Uh, receive this as a power protection that, that God on high is bringing down power and protection for you. It's like a supernatural power and protection. Okay, so here we go. Let's, let's read it. Oh, by the way, this is the New Living Translation. It's a really nice translation. Okay, those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust Him. For He will rescue you from every deadly trap, and he will protect you from any deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. Let's see. And he will shelter you in his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and your protection. Okay, so in life and in death, God is our protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors by night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness. And isn't it interesting? Trump is calling this the invisible enemy. Isn't it interesting? It says here, do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrows that fly in the day. And do not dread the, dark, the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. So don't be afraid of the you know, the economic fallout, don't be afraid of the, the virus itself. Though a thousand fall at your side, though 10,000 are dying all around you. You know, we've seen that all over the world. It's really a sad time. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes, and then we'll see how the wicked are punished. We'll see what happens when this all comes out and the, the people are brought to justice who caused the coronavirus. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. Yeah, we have guardian angels when Jesus is our Savior. They will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. And these days, uh, you know, that's metaphorical. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. So you can love the Lord. He's really worthy of your love. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. 
I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. And that's Psalm 91. And that's what the Bible says, and that's what I pray for you. I pray that you simply believe in Jesus and start talking to him this time of coronavirus. And let's pray right now. Okay, Lord Jesus, I pray that the viewer come to know you better and love you even more and be with you in heaven. We remit all the sins in the name of Jesus and protect them and give them help, hope, and hope, health, and healing, and strength, and courage, and confidence in the name of Jesus. Okay, see you next time. Bye.